Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to take a look over Array in Swift and its most powerful features. Arrays are one of the most commonly used data types in an app. You use arrays to organize your app's data. Array stores data with the same or different data type in certain condition in the ordered list manner. Swift has some powerful function which helps to perform most of tasks inside Array pretty easily and very fast. Array can store various data types which includes integer, string, double, any optional and also user-defined class or structure and more. So let's look how Array will help us to solve various problems easily. We have created a Swift Playground project. For the starters, we are taking some of the basic of Array. Then we move the much more advanced topics. Inside it, we import foundation module. For creating the Array, we need to define the variable, then add data inside the square brackets. As we are adding heterogeneous data inside the Array, we need to set the required data type to any inside Array. We can also predefine the data type of array like int so the array accept only int inside as input. For getting the item at certain index inside the array, we need to add the number like we did in score variable. We have type 2 because the array indexing start from 0 not 1. We could also initialize the array using an array initializer which data type to initialize inside the array. Adding data inside the array, we use append function and add our data inside it. We could also add an array of data inside the array using append content of function and provide our new array. For removing the item, we use remove function and add the index where we want to remove the data. So, these are some basic codes of array. Now let's move on to some more advanced topics. First. Create a structure person which holds name as type of string, then age as type of integer, gender which we create and enum later, then origin as string, not create an enum as gender, inside it we add case as male and female. Let's now create some dummy data. Let's now learn how to get first and last data from the array. For finding the first data inside the array, we use first, then we get the name of first item inside the array. For finding the last data similarly, we use last function. We could conditionally find the first or last data using first where function. If 
Inside the first where function, we can write our query as we are finding a person whose age is greater than 25. Similarly, we could also find the last data using where we could write any of the following data. We provided inside a structure as here. We are searching for a person whose origin is from USA and it should be last person. Similarly, we could do with the gender specific person appears on the last. Let's now look for mapping. Map method has the ability to transform a sequence of elements into a new array. Let's create a constant with age of person. We pick a person data array and we map it to show only age of each subsequent item inside the array. We could return an array to any type we want and all we get are append inside the array. Let's create an another structure for only to give some particular data from our array. We use of person data array and map it to our new structure which only have the gender specific data and it has no attachment to main data. This type of mapping could help in many data protection activity.
Compact map has similar outcome as the mapping, but it is used when we want to get a result with non-optional items. Let's now see filtering of data, one of the most useful things and every Swift developer should use this. For filtering, we create a const filter age person. Then we type our array name and use filter function inside the function, we add a condition. Then Print our filtered result. We can also use boolean to filter the gender to only show female. Now we can print our result. We can also find highest and lowest value inside the array. For doing so, we use our person data array and use max function. Then we put inside our own condition by which condition we want highest value. Similarly, we can do it for minimum value. We can also use more than one condition to find particular result which suits our need we chain our argument using and or operator inside a minimum function.
Similarly, we can use this chaining of condition inside the filter. Also, this will filter our male gender and person whose origin from UK. Now let's talk about the removing the item which follows a particular condition. We create a if let block which contains our index variable. Then we use first index function. This will return the first item which matches our condition. Then we can use remove function and provide our index. And here we can see that a data has been removed. We can also remove data with bulk removing using remove all function inside it. We need to provide our condition. In our example, we have removed person whose age is more than 30. Then we print the names of the person. And here you can see that our data has been removed. So this is how we can use array and using these function, it will make your app to next level and more powerful and much faster than your previous approaches. So we really hope that you may use some of these features inside your next project. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.